This problem gives us a collection of charges and a number of closed surfaces shown in cross sections as the colored paths and asks us to find the net electric flux through each of them. We'll do this using Gauss's law which says that the electric flux, the integral over the closed surface of E dot dA equals the charge enclosed divided by epsilon naught. Epsilon naught is a constant. I'll write its value here. So we can calculate the flux through each surface by finding the charge enclosed by it and dividing by that constant. Surface 1, the red one, encloses only the charge Q1. So its flux is the enclosed charge, that's Q1, divided by epsilon naught. Q1 has a charge of 4 nanocoulombs. So when you calculate, you find that the flux through surface 1 is 452 newton meter squared per coulomb. Surface 2 is the blue one, and that encloses only charge Q2. It has a value of negative 7.80 nanocoulomb. So making the same calculation gives us this electric flux through the blue surface. Surface 3 is the green one, and it encloses both charge Q1 and Q2. So we add those together. One's positive, one is negative, ending up with a net enclosed charge of negative 3.80 nanocoulombs, which gives us this result for the flux after dividing by epsilon naught. Surface 4 is the purple one. It encloses charge Q1 and Q3. Those are both positive. So when we add them together and divide by epsilon naught, we find this electric flux. And finally, surface 5 is the orange one, which encloses all three charges. So adding those together, the two positive ones and the one negative one, gives us this net charge. And we divide by epsilon naught to find the flux through surface 5.